A medical emergency forced a continental flight to land at Farmington's Four Corners Regional Airport yesterday afternoon. The plane was eventually able to take off, but to do so, it had to leave some of the passengers' bags behind. News 13's Amanda Goodman has an update. This is an unusual sight, a Boeing 737 carrying 167 passengers and crew sitting on the runway at Farmington's Four Corners Regional Airport. The Continental flight took off from Newark, New Jersey at around 1 o'clock Eastern time yesterday. The passengers thought they were in for a six-hour trip. Their final destination, sunny Los Angeles. But just an hour shy of L.A., a 70-year-old male passenger had what appeared to be a heart attack, and the plane had to land. We're emergency landing field that, that it's not uncommon for planes actually to divert here. This is obviously a little bit uh, bigger situation than normal with, with this flight. Emergency responders met the plane and took the passenger to San Juan Regional Medical Center. His name and his condition haven't been released. Meanwhile, the rest of the passengers and crew were stuck on the plane. It sat on the runway for more than two hours. At one point, Farmington Airport crews delivered water and ice, while others worked to figure out how to get the plane back in the air. The ground crew from Great Lakes Airlines and Atlantic Aviation have been here helping, assisting with equipment to, to assist the Continental crew in offloading uh, the, the, the uh, bags so that they can take off. You see, the plane was 4,000 pounds too heavy to safely take off from the airport's runway. So they started dumping luggage and a half hour later, they were cleared for departure. Their bags, though, won't be flying the friendly skies. Continental says it's sending the 90 or so bags to L.A. on a truck, and they should arrive around noon tomorrow. In Farmington, Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. According to Continental's flight records, the plane landed safely in Los Angeles three hours late.